To find the formal charge for each element in CS2, we'll use the Lewis structure here, and then we'll use this formula. So part of the use of formal charges is to figure out which is the most likely or favorable Lewis structure. So in this case, you could ask, you could have a double bond here and here, or you could do a triple bond and a single bond. So which Lewis structure is more favorable or likely? And that, that's what the formal charges, that's what they tell us. So let's figure out the formal charge on the sulfur first. Sulfur on the periodic table, that's in group 16, sometimes called 6A. It has six valence electrons. We'll subtract the unbonded valence electrons. These are the electrons up here. They're not involved in the chemical bond. They're not between atoms. So we have two, four of those. And then we'll subtract one half of the bonded valence electrons. So we have two, four of those for the sulfur. So six minus four is two minus two. That equals zero. So the formal charge on the sulfur here is zero. And since these are identical, this sulfur is going to be zero as well. Carbon, that's in group 14, sometimes called 4A. It has four valence electrons. We'll subtract the unbonded. All of these electrons, they're involved in chemical bonds. They're between atoms. So we don't have any unbonded electrons for carbon. Then we'll subtract one half of the bonded. Two, four, six, eight. Four minus zero minus four, that equals zero. So the formal charge on the carbon here is zero. When we look at Lewis structures, the most favorable or likely Lewis structure will have formal charges that are zero or closest to zero. So in this case, if you used a triple bond here and a single bond here, you wouldn't have these all as zero. So this is the most likely or favorable Lewis structure for CS2, carbon disulfide. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.